Hey kids, Dr. Brooks here. And for lesson 10 with our unit circle, um, it's really practice. I just want to go over quickly how to practice with the unit circle and knowing your unit circle. And this is going to look a little bit like memorization. And please forgive me that my figure is not drawn to scale. I just want to go around and go through the degrees, terms of pi, sines and cosines with you. Um, this is something that's really only permitted after you understand where all the degrees, terms of pi, sines and cosines came from. Once you've had that theory underneath your belt, then you can proceed and say, okay, now I can memorize the sine of pi over four is square root of two over two. And you might want to practice just drawing your circle and putting these values in like I'm about to do to, to help you learn it better. So you can commit it to memory, okay? So here we go. Starting at zero, we have zero degrees, which is zero pi, and the cosine is one, and the sine is zero. Coming around the circle, we have 30 degrees. That's pi over six. The cosine is square root of three over two, and the sine is one half. Then we have pi over four, which is 45 degrees. The sine and the cosine are both square root of two over two. Coming around the circle, we have 60 degrees, which is pi over 3. If you remember that the cosine for 30 is the square root of 3 over 2, the sine for 60 is the square root of 3 over 2, and if you remember the sine for 30 is 1 half, the cosine is 1 half. Then we come up to 90, and that's pi over 2, and it's 0, 1. That's where we are. Okay, we're coming around, we're at 120, we have 135, and we have 150. 120 is 2 pi over 3, 135 is 3 pi over 4, 150 is 5 pi over 6. Make a match up. 1 half, square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, square root of 3 over 2, 1 half. Decide what's positive. In quadrant two, the sine is positive, so the cosine gets a negative sign. We're here at 180. 180 is pi. Cosine is negative one, sine is zero. Next up is 210, then 225, then 240. In terms of pi, seven pi over six, five pi over four, four pi over three. make them match up. Square root of 3 over 2, 1 half. In this quadrant, both are negative. Then I have square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, both are negative. Then I have 1 half, square root of 3 over 2, both are negative. And quadrant 3 is done. Next up is 270. That's 3 pi over 2. And that's the ordered pair. 0, negative 1. So the sine is negative 1 and the cosine is 0. Coming around the circle, I have 300, 315, and 330 for my degrees. This is 5 pi over 3, 7 pi over 4, 11 pi over 6. You can make them match up from quadrant 3 or from quadrant 1. Let's go quadrant 1, square root of 3 over 2, 1 half. Square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, and then 1 half, square root of 3 over 2. What's positive in quadrant 4, the cosine is, so the sine gets a negative sign. And we're almost done. We've come a full 360 degrees, which is 2 pi. We already gave our value cosine 1 and sine of 0. And that's a wrap. So I hope that you practice that and you spend some time with your circle and get to know your degrees, terms of pi, sines and cosines. Thanks and have a great day.